Well, if you think waiting until 73 to take money out of your IRA is absolutely the right way to go, you might want to do a little homework. Joining us now for Retirement Coffee Talk are George Fossing and Zach Jenkins. They're part of the team at North Star Financial and Retirement Planning, a local area firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. George and Zach are also popular radio show hosts. Good morning. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Right, let's start with some numbers, okay? <laughs> we like seven here on Channel 7, but why is the number 73 so significant? That's pretty good. Yeah, you That's like that? It all kind of comes yeah, together. Yeah, promo for your yeah. station. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Always. We need Keep you another it. week. Uh -huh. <laughs> the 73, uh, it's called required minimum distributions. What that means, basically, if you have a, a 401k or IRA and you're retired by the age 73, you have to start taking money out of that. It's a requirement. If you don't, it's quite the penalty. Get ta like the tax penalty? Yeah, it used to be a lot. It was 50%. They reduced it a little bit. It's still huge. Uh, but people are going to say, I don't need the money. I don't need the money. I don't need the money. Leave for my kids. All of a sudden, age 73 comes. You talk to your tax preparer. They go, oh, you need to take a distribution on that. But what do you mean by a distribution? Well, you have to take some money out and pay taxes on it. And that distribution, not all, you're not going to pay taxes on what you take out. I mean, it doesn't all go to Uncle Sam. Right. Okay, you just have to pay taxes on what you need to take out and get to put into maybe an after-tax account at that point. It used to be age 70 and a half. Now they pushed it back to age 73. They're talking about 76 or something in about 10 years or yeah, something. Yeah, so they're, they're pushing back, back but it's just kicking the can. It's, it's not fixing it. Right. And what I've seen over 25 years, Megan, is the amount of people who come in and they waited too long and they said, I wish I did this 10 years ago. Uh. So one reason we do this is the call for urgency. You don't wait until you're a year or two out. You can still do it. You can actually still do it in retirement at age, past age 73. But if you're younger, get in front of this. Take, start taking some conversions, do some, uh, moving some money from an IRA, 401k, paying taxes on it now. This is what this guy does really well, finding that dollar amount and putting it back in. And you're in charge of your tax situation at the well, government. How do you know, like, okay, I should wait until 73. That fits me good or if you're like no you know I'm 68 or I'm 69 I, I, I want to do this now yeah. how do you know yeah well, we've got a software that we use we'll run a report you know that a, we'll call it a 10,000 foot snapshot but um, if if that if that report reveals something that says hey that's kind of a you know an alarming situation you need to do some tax planning you, you could save significantly then it'll reveal that and we can do that in about 10 or 15 minutes for somebody but I was thinking about a conversation I had the other day with his husband and wife and uh, most of their assets like a lot of people out there are pre-tax and uh, they're still working um, she's looking at retiring uh, here pretty soon but you know they're going to have a very large required minimum distribution required of them by 73 and you know he asked a great question you know, in regards to should they go ahead and get started or not, and they really should start considering it. Um, because again, we would expect uh, accounts over time to grow, and if you're not going to be at least taking out what they're growing by, that means that that RMD is going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, what's the consequences? Just because, oh, it's more taxes, so what? Well, it affects your, your Medicare, it's okay, your health care, you can say, oh, you're rich, you can pay more. Yeah. Social Security. Going to go tax the max rate to 85%, it will be taxed. Oh, you can afford more. That's the way the government looks at this. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talked about this last week as well. We're going to talk about it every week. You know, Medicare and the Social Security trust funds are running dry. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to raise taxes in some wet way. And it's going to be and the middle class. That are picked yes, up. the middle class will be taking the brunt of it as usual. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse. So, avoiding, we all like to avoid conflict and problems, right? Right. That's just a natural thing. Oh, you know, this is something so much better to do now because you're not going to avoid it. And it's going to be the government program telling you how much to take out. And we believe it's going to be a lot worse down the road too, Megan. Okay. So let's say, you know, I want to talk to someone that is under the age of 73. What's the best way that they can be prepared to kind of, you know, minimize the, the tax requirement once they get to that age? You know, one of our, our cores in, in, uh, of our company is education is king. Mm. Taking the time and educate people to see what we see, learn about what we learn about, and share that with them so they understand you know, why we're recommending what we're recommending and our beliefs. Mm -hmm. Most times that lines up very well. They yeah. appreciate that. It's a really good basis for a relationship, long-term relationships with our clients. And that's that similarity out there. So, you know, part of that is at age 73 is like, listen, we want to be in front of this. Do you want to be in front of this too? Clearly, Nine times yeah. out of ten, yes, yeah. we do. Okay, do you agree you're going to have to pay these taxes? Someone will. 
at some point or another. Yeah. They go, yes, we agree. So we're gonna map out a strategy, a plan, that's gonna walk you through over time and pay the least amount of taxes as necessary to offset that required minimum distribution. We have clients out there walking the talking clients that are gonna pay 0% taxes in retirement because they got on this early and they followed through and they're in a really they're amazing a place. Spot. I mean, not kidding. I mean, they have six figure incomes. They don't pay a lick of taxes because they took care of that several years ago. Now they're reaping the rewards. Right. So it's that, that delayed gratification. That could be you. All you gotta do, make the time, have a little conversation with them. They'll be able to see what steps you can take. We're, we're okay, guys, we don't bite. <laughs> yes, no, they're very nice guys. Thank you guys. That Thanks, Megan, that, that appreciate was very informative. it. Listen, if you are at home, if you are currently retired, or maybe getting close to retirement and would like to learn more about how to help protect and grow your hard-earned savings and investments, North Star Financial has a great offer for you right now. This is for the first five callers who have saved $500,000 or more. They're offering a complimentary, no obligation retirement and investment report. That report will include potential tax saving opportunities and ways to reduce the effects of market volatility on your portfolio. Their team will schedule a phone call, video call, or future in-office meetings so they can speak with you personally and provide you that roadmap going forward. Call the number you see on your screen right now, 864-309-8146.